money I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright Hello and welcome to the Nerd in Motion And today it has been one of those days where I have pretty much done nothing productive But I have managed to change the batteries in my man cave sign So there you go but, you know, on a day where you're feeling fairly unproductive, luckily, there is always a source of news and stupidity. And that is coming from our man, Sadiq Khan, a, with his wonderful uh, green agenda of ULES and how he is making London a safer, cleaner place. So, um, let's have a look at something that is painfully predictable and slightly irritating. The congestion capital, how London's roads are more clogged up now than before ULES was rolled out. As it emerges, Sadiq Khan has spent £3 million pulling a smart pay-per-mile road charging system. I bet you're looking forward to that. Uh, <clears throat> congestion in London is worse now than it was before Sadiq Khan's hated ULEZ scheme was rolled out and then controversially expanded. New figures have revealed. Mm. Data complied by TomTom. You know TomTom, we make the sat-navs, and they also put that software in Renaults and Dutchies and trucks and all sorts of stuff. Uh, the location tech company showed that car journeys around the capital are taking longer now than they did five years ago due to increasing amounts of congestion. Figures show that congestion level percentage, percentage, which is a measure of how much longer it takes to drive around London compared to if there was no traffic, is higher in 2024 than in 2019. So before you say it, tree huggers, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say about, oh well, there was the Rona, and we were all inside. Well, this is off measurements from 2019. ULES, which requires people to pay £12.50 a day for non-compliant vehicles, or like really massive ones, because if you're really rich, hey, you're allowed to pollute, uh, was introduced in April five years ago, and was expanded to cover the whole of Greater London, sparking a furious backlash amongst drivers and the so-called Blade Runner activists tearing down cameras. <gasps> They are naughty boys. Uh, Tom, Tom data shows that in January it took an average of 37% longer to drive around the capital than in the same month in 2019. 37% longer. Not a little bit. Um, when the congestion level was at 33%. In February, it took an average of 40% longer compared to 37% in 2019. And last month, the average driving time around London had risen from 37% five years ago to 39% now. Uh, Andy Marchant, traffic expert at TomTom. Tom. Now, just before we get into this, just be aware, and I'm going to... I will do a told you so video... But you've got to be careful with the likes of TomTom Tom and all the people that are doing tracking in cars because there's some whole new world of stuff that is coming out and those guys are key to that. Uh, Andy Marchant, traffic expert from TomTom, Tom, public programmes that aim to tackle rising traffic emissions, including London's ultra-low emission zone, ULEZ, remain essential to supporting the UK's ambition to reach net zero by 2050. It should, however, be coupled with long-term action. Our analysis shows that five years on from the introduction of ULEZ, London remains the world's slowest city to drive through. The capital's fuel consumption and CO2 emissions inevitably increased at the same time with London's petrol vehicles having the highest CO2 impact in 2023, emitting 3.56 tonnes of CO2 per 10,000 miles driven in 2023. Now, take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, they're moaning about the petrol vehicles now. They were moaning about the diesel vehicles before. Roll it back like a few years, like 10 years at least, and the government was losing its mind over CO2. CO2 was, we were all going to literally suffocate and die, and it was only a matter of weeks before that, that was going to happen, the way that they were talking about it. And so they decided that petrol engines were the 
dirtiest thing in the world and so they introduced something called the diesel engine which has something called nitrous oxide that it gives out which is far more dangerous so we replaced a little bit of co2 because i mean that sounds like a lot 3.56 tons of carbon it's not really when you think how big london is and how many vehicles are there and all the other stuff i bet there's more carbon comes out of chimneys out there and all sorts of other bits and bobs manufacturing will make way more than that um it's it's not a lot but hey just remember they can tax the car super easily so that's where it gets really important so what they did is they were there going oh petrol engines they're the worst thing in the whole world what we'll do is we'll give tax incentives to businesses and people will be able to buy company cars that are diesel that are cleaner for the environment and they they get better miles per gallon because they're cleaner that's what they told you and basically you were able to get good nice company cars diesel for decent money then they realized that actually diesels aren't as clean as petrols and they decided that in fact you know what we need to get rid of them so now they've replaced them and we're going through exactly the same cycle again now with electric cars and do you know what's going to happen and i'm going to do a massive tell you told you so video if it does happen but they're going to have problems with base batteries and they're going to have problems with um like what to do with them and how to dispose of them and there's going to be all sorts of stuff and if maybe they don't find somewhere to produce these um batteries in europe then there's going to be another problem there which is that we are completely reliant on other countries so it's gonna if china suddenly decides you know what we're not going to supply batteries to the rest of the world anymore and maybe russia they i don't know if they do or they don't but let's say russia makes batteries and they go you know what we don't want to supply up any more batteries to europe so all of a sudden every electric car on the road there's no batteries for them what do you think might happen do you think it could be like the semiconductor issue anyway i digress um i've gone off on on one um <laughs> it comes amid claims that mr khan is plotting a smart paper mile road charging system after it emerged transport of london has spent around three million pounds on such a scheme the so-called future ruc first outlined in documents in 2022 sought to introduce a singular smart road user charging system scheme that could potentially replace existing charges in including ulez now that also the paper mile thing goes back to what they want to do is they want to do away with all the camera side of it basically as soon as you drive in the car will start reporting and grassing you up for how many miles it's doing uh, a freedom of information request seen by the mail online shows that TF tfl officials have been working on the project the scheme would use sophisticated technology to make it simple and as fair as possible for londoners who would be charged for driving around the capital a number of technical resource was also procured to support the optioneering and undertake early development of functionalities which any potential future scheme could require. The full response to I mean, I could keep going. But what's interesting is it spent £3 million, and this is in the standard today, and he said that he's not going to do it. He's abandoned the idea, so he's just blown £3 million, and he's basically said... Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, Conservative uh, mayor, may, 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 mayor, or may, 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 the mayor, somebody who wants to be mayor, that person, candidate Susan Hall has said the current London mayor, Sadiq Khan, has plans to introduce paper mile charging for drivers. But. Uh, it says here, where is it? He's actually, he said, there we go. Mr. Khan's public statements and statements from TfL, this bit here, there it says there's no plans to introduce paper mark. Mm. Now, could it be, I'm just putting it out there, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'm being a bit silly and thinking, and, and maybe being cynical again, that if a politician says something, or a mayor, or something like that, someone in power, and says that they're not going to do something, do you think 
that that's actually what they do. Do you think there's an outside chance that, you know what, he's committed £3 million to it, that maybe because he doesn't want to get voted out, that, mm, you know what, I'm not going to do Paper Mile. Uh, I'm going to forget about that. Vote me back in. Oh, you know what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to do Paper Mile now. I mean, it, it, honestly, you couldn't make it up. And, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, yeah, anyway. The guy's a clown. Total clown. I'm just a man in the shed with a lawnmower. So, I mean, what do I know? I'm, I'm just, you know, just a no one. Me and my friend. Uh, uh, me and my friend uh, Quack Norris. We just, we're just chilling here and talk about the world. Um, but I'm, I'm so glad I don't live in London. So, um, there is a group called Together that I have found recently. Uh, in fact, I say recently, I found them yesterday, and I have signed up for some of their emails. And one of their the things that they do is they equip you with um, all sorts of information so that you can find out from your MPs what they actually believe. So what are they trying to do? Are they going for the utopian 15-minute cities and things like that? So I will put a link to them in the description. I'll preface that with I haven't fully found out the ins and outs of everything. I know it asks for money almost straight away, but the stuff that they've sent me out is quite good, and I've read it, and it doesn't seem unreasonable. So what they're trying to say is we need to get the politicians to actually talk to the people. And I think, you know what, maybe some of us need to start running for political positions as the people and not get caught up in their nonsense and run against these people that are just trying to line their own pockets and make life easier for them the, well easy for themselves so um yeah i don't know what you think but uh, i've been the nerd in motion i hope you've enjoyed it um obviously quack norris popped in on this one um so uh put in the comments what you think what do you think should happen and please uh, drop a like and subscribe it really helps uh youtube has kind of let me out the sim bin at the moment so any kind of sharing or promoting of this video would really help me so thank you very much and i'll see you on the flip side <laughs>